Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to manage DNS settings for your GoDaddy domain. In this video, you are going to learn almost all type of DNS settings that are uh, that you can use with the GoDaddy domain. So first thing you have to do is uh, go to your GoDaddy account like this. Okay, so this will be the main page. And from here you can see all your products listed so here you can find the domain or you can scroll down and you can see the domain from here okay so we have to just uh, click either here or you can from here go to setup and manage so let's go to manage and now you will see a interface like this from here we have to go to domain and from here go to manage DNS And from this page you can manage all the DNS related settings and the first thing we have to do is create a backup so in case something goes wrong or um, for any reason you want to revert the changes we should be able to do it okay so currently you can see I'm on this DNS records tab and here you can see currently all the DNS records connected to this domain and there are two pages of records so what I will do is first I will select here and go to show 20 records so we can see all the current records on a single page and I will go to actions here and create on export click on export zone file and then save this to my uh, PC so this is basically a backup and if I want to import it back I will just have to create on import zone file and all these records I should be able to create a uh, revert the changes okay and another thing we will do is since why we have created this uh, to show 20 records is so that we can take a single screenshot of all these records or you can simply use your mobile phone and take a photo of this page so in case that will be a secondary backup in case the import zone file method fails or there is another any other issue or you just want to see how it was before okay now we'll go to the name server tab so here I will also suggest to just take a photo of this also and you can reverse that if in any case you want to revert it now let's learn how to change the DNS settings so the most common scenario is you use a GoDaddy domain but you bought hosting from some other company like Hostgator, Bluehost, Hostinger, Sitecrown or some other company that gives you two DNS records and ask you to change your DNS name servers from your domain provider. So, do the, so to do that you have to come here in the name servers tab you have to click on names change name servers. Currently you can see that we are using the default GoDaddy name servers and that's because we are using Go, I'm using GoDaddy services and this is the name servers I want to use. Now if I got name server records from a different hosting provider like Hostinger, I will do is go here and they will email you the name server records. It will be like ns1.hosting.com ns2.hosting.com or something like this okay so you have to copy and paste the exact DNS records you get from your hosting provider and if they give you more than two name servers then you have to click on add name server and then add here ns3.hosting.com or whatever you get get usually it is just two name servers okay and then click on save here and after this this will be saved and the changes will take about 20 minutes to reflect so to check the changes you have to go to this website lookmydns.com I have created this free website to check your DNS records here you have to enter your domain name so if I go here my domain name is this how to shop will go here I will paste it here and select NS for name servers and then click on find. So this will currently check and you can see currently all the DNS records from across the world are report, reporting the old default code ID name servers and if I ch save the changes here after some time after about 20-30 minutes all the 
uh, DNS servers here will start showing the new name servers okay so that's the say simple scenario how to change the name servers okay so I will just close it and let's move to the other tutorial now let's say if you want it to connect it to uh, Shopify or you want to just create a record C name record if you're using a VPS or something like that or using some other third-party website builders in that case they will give you DNS records like a record txt record c name records okay so let's learn how to do that so for that we have to use the first default name servers okay so in case you are using any third party name servers go to change name servers here and then switch to the godaddy name servers like it is right now okay and then go to dns records from here you can see there are already so many dns records here Okay, so I will just uh, delete them and again show you how to uh, do it this. So I have deleted all the records that were possible to delete. You can see uh, these records are by default and they cannot be deleted. If you're using the GoDaddy name server, if you're using a third party name server, then this DNS records basically get disabled and uh, all the DNS records are managed by the hosting provider. Now let's go to add a new record, click on add record, select a record. Now for this, you have to put add the rate, this means your domain and put the IP here, okay. Okay, like this, this is just an example. Then I will click on save here. And if you get a T custom TTL recommendation from the provider that you are using, then you can do that. Otherwise, I will just let it uh, be the default setting. Click on save. So a record is for a IPv4 IP address. It will look like this and then create another record. Usually it is a C name record. Okay. Again, I will put here www dot. So for, this is for subdomains that are hosted on the same server as your main website and then i will put at the rate here so let's save this so if someone uh, types www.yourwebsite.com instead of just website.com uh, in that scenario this is required now create another record this time we'll create a ipv6 record okay and then we'll create at the rate and type our ipv address Okay, and then click on save. Okay, now let's learn how to add a TXT record. So this type of record is required if you're using, uh, if you want to verify the Google Analytics, Google AdSense or similar type of verification, they give you a TXT record and tell you to add it to your domain. So this is how you have to do. Select TXT, put add the rate or um, whatever they have, domain they have given you. Okay, so I will just for put here at the rate or let's say you are doing for Google. Uh, so I will just put here Google. They will provide you the exact name that you have to put here. And then they give you a, like a random text like verify equal to something something. And then you have to click on save changes. Okay, so if you do that, it will be added here. Okay, and then we have to create an MX record. This is record is for the mail servers. Okay, so let's say MX here. So I want to put um, mail zero and then this simply dot dot com and then click on save here. So that's how you can uh, add the mail record. Uh, this will be uh, again provided by the hosting provider or the email provider you are using and then click on save changes and this record will be added now let's learn how to you can use your custom uh, dns name server records so for that you have to go to host names here okay so in case you are using a vps like you got it from a DigitalOcean or vulture or somewhere else and you want to use your own host name then you can do this click on add host name here and just type the uh, prefix of the host name like ns1 and then put the ip okay this will be ip of your server and uh, okay so just click on save here and then similarly you can put ns2 
and then again it, you can put the same IP or you can put it to be a different IP okay then click on save here okay so now we have created two host name ns1.ourwebsite.com ns2.ourwebsite.com and after some time it will take godaddy site start they take like it takes 30 to 90 minutes so after that once you see that this uh, has been uh, updated you have to go to name servers here and then click on change name servers and click on i will use my own name servers and then put ns1 dot your website name here how to shg dot shop and ns2 dot how to shg dot shop okay and then click on save changes and then now you can use your own custom name servers so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you have any questions please post in the comments and i will try to help you out